back today with a top five struggles of nursing school. I've seen a couple of these videos and right now I am definitely struggling. Um, I'm managing but I'm struggling so I thought I'd make this video for you guys. I have like three hours until I take my last midterm for this term and then you know move forward final blah 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 blah. But without further ado I'll get right into the video. So first off the biggest struggle that I've been dealing with and trying to get under control is definitely time management. Um, with nursing school you guys know there's such a high demand on you there's so much stuff you have to cover and so amount of time but like they say in the beginning when you sign up for nursing that you're not gonna have a personal life and that is so true I have not went out I have not did anything since I started school so you know with time management being one of the biggest problems that's something that you need to situate and I'm not gonna say that I fully am like getting it under the ranks because I'm human and you know things don't aren't that easy as they are said so with that being said to handle time management what I've been doing is being very 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 consistent with my calendars um, I have a daily planner and I've been slacking um, writing into it and what I notice is that my lack of effort into writing everything down in my calendar like I should has affected me tremendously and once I started writing everything out making sure I had my calendar on my desk filled in on everything that I want to do um, I've realized that it's much easier because it's easy to manage your time when you literally have everything scheduled out. Like I remember when I had my finals week of my last term, um, I literally had to schedule in when to eat because it was that hectic for me. And I get overwhelmed very easily. I broke out in hives twice. So yeah. So the next struggle for me, especially, and I still struggle with this, um, is answering critical thinking questions. Um, like before, the only questions that I was really used to getting is like, you know, like simple definition questions like, oh, the da 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 da, what is that? You choose the right answer. But um, what I've noticed is that with school, they want you to be comfortable with more NCLEX style questions and those are not easy. Um, you're gonna be seeing things that say select all that apply. So all of them could literally be right, all of them could be wrong or one could be right or all of them could be right and they ask you to select the best choice and those be having me stuck it is a huge struggle for me because it's so hard for me to study already and then i'm like now i have to study to understand all this stuff and obviously like um it's just a lot so definitely break down those questions what i do is when i write like um when i'm studying whatever i'm studying i like to know diseases that um diseases or like um things that could happen from whatever that term is what that term is connected to if it's like a body system or an organ or anything like that what can happen if da 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 and that's basically once i started learning that it's like i've started organizing the whatever I'm studying in my brain so then when I take the test it's easier you don't want to just focus on what it is but you want to focus on how it works um effects of it and stuff now um that will get more in depth when you take patho um so if you're not you don't have to worry about that and stuff like that like disease and stuff because you won't be asked about that kind of stuff but they may put some questions on there because it was in the book and it mentioned it. So definitely learn to apply because I definitely been struggling with that. My third struggle, and I feel like this is going to be a struggle until I graduate. Um, and this is knowing what to study. Um, right now with my term, it's like all my teachers, we like people will ask them, oh, what do we need to study? What is this? They'll tell us everything. You need to know everything. And I'm just like, there's a lot of everything so you know it's definitely overwhelming for me just because I'm one of those people that like like I study so much but I always feel like like every time I go into a test every people always come up to you and ask you you know how do you feel are you ready da, da, da. and I'm just like I know what I know and I'm sure there I know what I don't I don't know what I don't know and that's how I feel walking into every test so with that being said how to overcome overcome what to study is in your chapter whatever book it is you're going to have checkpoints you're going to have questions at the end of the book and you're going to have um what is it learning objectives and use those learning objectives to overall outline your chapter because those are the main points now you may like get questions that 
don't involve those but if you know those learning objectives because it stops you throughout each like checkpoint in the chapter you'll overall know what you should know if you're taking um if you're making your notes the way i mentioned in the last tip as in um like learning how they connect to each other and what they are not just as one but as a working unit then you'll cover more bases than to just study like that and i feel like that has helped me so much because when I took my first quiz, we're not going to talk about the grade because <laughs> the quiz it was only one percent, but for me that like I I felt that and it hurt me to my core. Studying like um just definitions and I had to get myself out of that definition phase, like I mentioned before. After that, I started doing the studying, like I said before. I got a I believe I missed I had missed two on my next quiz so i had about i think i got a 94 or something like that and then i had got um i missed one i had got a 96 on my next thing so i've been doing pretty good after i changed up my learning style my fourth struggle is stress 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 so when I'm saying stress is real when you're in nursing school because um, at my school I know I have to reach a certain mark. Um, as you progress into your nursing program, classes only get harder, it does not get easier. So the only thing you can do is work on yourself, work on your studying skills, work on how you approach each um, class that you go into because that's what's going to make the class easier because the classes are going to get harder and what i've been doing to deal with stress is after my first term my mindset completely changed because back then i used to be like oh i have midterms next week i'm gonna start studying now when i came into this term i literally was like first day of school okay i got a midterm and from that point on i was prepping myself prepping my notes for that midterm. Yes, I have quizzes throughout each chapters and stuff, but I was still preparing myself for the overall midterm, making those notes and printing out my notes. Um, if you guys want a separate video on how I get ready for test days and how I organize my notes, definitely give this a like and comment that down below and you know I got you. But um, like I was saying is I prepared myself for my midterm from day one. I've been preparing myself for my final from day one. And I feel like, um, that has helped a lot, a lot, a lot with my stress because before it's like, oh, I have to cram and get everything in my brain so I can take this test. But now it's just like, hmm, I've been studying as I've been going through this course. I'm sh There's things that I still struggle with, but um, overall, I know basically I can touch base on each chapter. Um, I feel like I know pretty much the important things that I thought was important that we talked about in class but um, I'm sure there's things that I'm not but I'm less stressed than feeling like oh my gosh I have to go back I have to outline each chapter I have to do this I have to do that I have to print out my notes all two days before the test which isn't gonna be useful to you because you can only read over it like two times so, and also with stress I feel like another tip to conquer that is to have me time I know I said in the beginning of this video is that you're not gonna have your personal life but you do need some personal time what I do is usually on Sundays I work on Sundays generally but um, I use Sundays as my chill day like that's the day that I moisturize I'll moisturize my hair because during the week I've noticed that you do start neglecting yourself and you start feeling bad and when you feel bad that's when you let the stress feel build up because I feel like with me I started feeling like wow I'm so overwhelmed I don't know where to look where to go my hair is nappy my skin's a wreck because it's breaking out because I'm not doing my proper skincare routine and when you feel a mess and everything's a mess around you that's a whole nother can of worms so like I said is take me time and branch out your chapters and prep yourself for those stressful times of the semester where you have midterms and finals and exams and all that stuff because that will help a lot a lot a lot with your stress so my last struggle of nursing school to me is the most important I save the best for last and this does have something to do with the stress um, struggle that I just mentioned is don't watch people don't watch other people focus on yourself you are in school now that doesn't mean just you know be that person that's antisocial not making relationships with your classmates you know suffering in silence you don't want to be that kind of person but realize that you are doing this by yourself in a sense like this is your your journey to becoming that nurse that you want to be 
but don't watch others. I know in class it's easy to have those people because I have those people in class who feel like they're going to announce when they did bad and they're definitely going to announce when they did good. They're going to go around, hey, what did you get? I got a 95. Oh, I got an 85. Oh, I got a freaking 60. Da, 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 da. And they're going to come up to you and they're going to stress you out. And maybe you don't get stressed out about kind of that kind of thing, but me personally having that kind of energy does reflect on you, especially because you are sensitive right now in nursing school. I feel like everything affects me more so now that I'm in nursing school than I've ever been in my life. Like, everything. Like, I'm already thinking about what grade I need to make to finish the class, which is six more weeks from now. Like, all this crazy stuff. I don't need you in my face stressing me out about my grades. What's this? What you got? Because at the end of the day, I'm happy for everyone who's succeeding. And I, I, re I genuinely am. And I feel, you know... If you come up to me saying you got a bad grade, that's unfortunate. And, you know, I could be either of those people. I could have gotten a bad grade and I could have gotten a good grade. But what I've noticed is don't watch other people because that can affect you. If you feel like someone comes into class stressed out, oh, I'm going to fail this, I'm going to fail this, I'm going to fail this, you start doubting yourself, you start questioning yourself, and that can affect how you test. Or people who come in, oh, this is so easy, or people who've been talking about all their great grades for all this time, oh, this is so easy. You don't want to have that rub up on you and you feel like either you're not smart like them or you don't want to get cocky like them and be like, oh, I don't need to study for this test because it's easy. Christian said it was easy, so it's easy. And so don't watch other people. Focus on yourself, stay in your own lane, and that will help you so much with the stress. Because I know in the beginning, hearing people say, oh, I got this, I got that, I got this, and say I got like um, a grade lower than them, even if it was only like two points or a point, I would still be like, wow, what am I doing wrong to where I'm not getting the grade they got or this? And that can definitely take a toll on you. So don't watch people. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'm about to get up and go take my midterm. Hopefully that goes pretty good. I feel semi-ready. You know, I always say I know what I know, I don't know what I don't know. If you guys found this video helpful, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything, girl. Because at this point, we're friends if you watch till this point of the video so go ahead and subscribe definitely follow me on my instagram and add me on snapchat i'm more active on there than i am on youtube because right now this part of my term i've been pretty busy and kind of like feeling pretty tense about what's going on i don't have time to sit down and film for you guys so definitely go on there i try posting daily so thank you so much for watching this video i love you guys so 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 much and i'll see you on my next one Bye.